Hi, uh, Chris Wickland here. So this is uh, this process is called the stained glass window. <clears throat> this was given to me on the 13th of the 7, 23. Uh, and this came at our prayer school. We were all told to uh, meditate on a scripture, which I'd give, given everyone. And as we, I was meditating on it, suddenly this came out. Uh, this scripture is Ezekiel eleven nineteen, 19. And it says, I will give them one heart and I'll put a new spirit within you and will give them a heart of flesh. I'll give my people one heart soon a heart that is my heart, a heart that my true church will beat with, where all my people beat with one heart to the same beat. My people are broken and schismed, and this is not healthy. In this, there can never be any kind of true unity. Birds of a feather often flock together. However, I am doing a new thing, a wonderful thing, where birds of a feather will not flock together. No, they will be a menagerie of different flocks and different breeds. Many will ask how such a thing can be. And it is because I will give them one new heart. They are all different, yet they all share the same heart. Man's way <coughs> is to stick to one's own kind. And this is not my way. I respect the different breeds of my people, but I don't want them singled out according to their kind. I want them to be one in heart, not in kind or breed. My prayer is that my church be one. It began as one and has now become broken like glass, shards all over the floor with no possibility of repair. However, I am going to take this broken glass and form a stained glass work of art from the fragments. I'm not going to fix the brokenness. No, rather, I am going to piece the brokenness of the coloured glass to create a single piece of artwork. The beauty of this stained glass window will be in the colours of the broken shards. I will take those broken pieces and put them together into something new. Then, with the light of my sun shining through, all will gaze and marvel upon this new but old church, a church that is truly one, not by uniformity, but in unity of heart and purpose.